Hello, child of God. Do you have an intense interest in gardening? Is it almost an obsession? That just might be a gift from Almighty God, especially to you. Almighty God is the Spirit who created mankind and put him into the Garden of Eden. Each evening, Almighty God would walk and talk with Adam and Eve in that garden. Even the day that Adam and Eve sinned, Almighty God still came to talk to them. Almighty God has not changed. He still wants to walk and talk with His creation in the garden. Growing plants and learning about the physical creation is a very enjoyable experience. But the greater and more exciting experience is doing it while walking with God and discussing your garden with Him. Recently, the direction the Lord sent me to study was in plant sugars. And this is the second video where I share a little of what I've learned. Sugar is not a fertilizer. Excess fertilizer can burn new roots and kill your cuttings. Many gardeners are successfully using honey as a rooting hormone. But as I said in my previous video, honey is not a rooting hormone. It is a sugar. It is probably one of the best sugars to use for air layering or rooting fruit tree cuttings. The bees add the antifungal and the antibacterial chemicals to the honey so that it's an excellent choice of sugars to encourage your air layering and fruit tree cuttings to root. I like to use both, a sugar and a rooting hormone, but in all things moderation. Too much rooting hormone kills the cutting, and too much sugar will feed the bacteria that also kills the cutting. So I would like to introduce a simple chemical factory that grows the rooting hormones that will not kill the cuttings. And the hormones are slowly released over time to promote the cutting to root continuously and as quickly as it can. This chemical factory is willow branch cuttings that I have been rooting in water for several days. Many gardeners make willow tea and use various methods to take advantage of the willow branch's ability to manufacture many different chemicals that aid in rooting. Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, has programmed this willow branch cutting to be a willow tree. Every single cell in the branch is designed to function in support of the growth of a new tree. We can chop this living branch into very small pieces, and the cells will still change themselves to attempt to become a new willow tree. There are many cells in this concoction that are similar to stem cells in that they are changed by the other cells to become root or any other plant cell needed at that point in growth. I do not know how small you have to chop these cuttings to stop that action, but I think as long as the cells live, they will try to become a tree. I really want these cuttings too small to actually root as a tree, but large enough to continue the chemical changes for several weeks. In order to help the production of the rooting hormones, I have added a honey and water mixture, which will feed the chopped willow cuttings, and therefore they will continue to grow. We can apply this growing paste to a paper towel and wrap it around the cuttings. Your cutting will feed on the sugar in the honey and also be encouraged by the willow hormones that are growing in this long-term rooting process. This method is very different from using willow tea because the willow tree cells are killed with heat and the hormones are extracted into the water by the process of making willow tea. Do you want a little sugar with your tree? There are many fertilizers you can buy that have molasses already added to them to promote the growth of many crops and rootings. So the method of adding sugar is an old and proven practice. There are many ways to add sugar to your garden and promote plant growth, but it must be done in moderation or your garden becomes to be a toxic waste place for the wrong bacteria and harmful fungal. It's a good practice to talk to God about this and see if by adding sugar it will benefit the needs of your rooting or gardening or any other thing that you're planting. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou cameth forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. The most important learning experience here is not about the plant sugars. The most important learning experience is talking with Almighty God in the greenhouse and learning to learn from His instructions. He's willing to fellowship and teach us. If we're willing to. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord.
thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. Almighty God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Just ask him to join you in your garden and teach you to be a more successful gardener. Any subject at all. Almighty God is not only concerned with your sin and your money. He wants to be your friend and fellowship with you. Almighty God is looking for the opportunity to bless you. Peace be unto your house, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.